Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and this is going to be the end of a run of Euro Truck Simulator 2, in which I will be very far to the north. Uh, I may or may not squeeze in one more little bit of, uh, like, trying to get a um, warehouse and some more employees, because I am making some money, and as are other people. Uh, trigger warning for anybody who's watching, I'm going to be turning on the news, so if you hate the news... Oops. That didn't go as planned. Let me try that again. If you if you if you're not a fan of um, terrible things that end up on the news, well then this episode's gonna have that. So feel free to skip ahead. All right, let's watch. All right, let's watch this. All right, let's uh, watch recently this. Recently, there was an event in Martha's Vineyard of Jewish Democratic leaders. Who is the most Jewish? well-known Democrat on Martha's Vineyard. Me. I didn't get invited. Is that really the important? Most Jewish? I just, I don't think we should do that. I think of all the things we should do, we should probably not do that. I, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't support it at all. Uh, that's former Trump lawyer, Alan Dershowitz. Uh, and he has a devastating problem. He's been shunned Whoa, from Martha's Vineyard from speaking at Martha's Vineyard, taking speaking engagements there. It's really a, a crisis. I stopped hearing the audio for a second. I don't know if Alan you did. In these hard times, uh, he complained about it uh, on the one platform that still allows him to speak. Let's watch. I have been punished severely. I can't speak at the library in Martha's Vineyard. I can't speak in the synagogue in Martha's Vineyard. I can't speak in uh, the community center. Uh, I have been silenced by people who don't want to hear my perspective because I defended the Constitution on behalf of President Trump. What is the, what severe, constitutionality severe with President that Trump are you referring to? At Martha's Vineyard. When he says, I can't speak at the library, I'm, I'm really picturing him just going to the library and just like speaking in a loud voice. And people are like, will you stop talking? Like, I, I'm imagining. I mean, admittedly, that's what I was picturing as well. He's just going and doing it anyway. That's what I would like to imagine. But not only is Alan Dershowitz being severely punished, his followers are being punished as well. Let's watch. All right, let's get this Somebody to its destination. Was reading one of my books, and a guy came over to him and said, "Are you reading a book by Dershowitz?" And he said, "Yes." And he punched him in the mouth. I got what? The today. I'm going to be posting it on on Twitter. Old friends have refused to invite me to concerts and events because they say if you're invited, no one will show up. And this includes. That's true because you're probably a terrible person. I don't even know who you are, but if you back Trump, part of this culture, statistically speaking, probably a terrible person. I defended the constitutional right of President Trump. Hey, if you're watching this and you support Trump, this is objective. I understand. To me. On the if you do support book. Trump, <laughs> and I, someone goes up to that. No, that's not okay. Alan Dershowitz. Yeah, it is. Boom! Punched in the face. That is, that is funny. I'm not condoning punching people You can face. have supported no, Trump. Not. There no, were reasons to back him. No, don't let me tell you that is my perspective. Do whatever you want. If living your best they life weren't necessarily well informed. In the face, that's between, you know? Um, that's all you. All I'm saying is it's, it's objective. History being funny. the judge, things uh, turned out really bad for us. Days, uh, the people of the world. But, um... Because, uh, this is an Alan Dershowitz there were reasons. It's true. Uh, but it's and, like... The, five six years later so uh, if you still support him let's be very clear this is a very that's not okay place. it's yeah. not like he's not allowed to just like hang out in public or take public transit he's not allowed to have speaking engagements in a place where the median home cost is 1.3 million dollars this is an island off of cape cod where rich people vacation the cost of living there is 60 percent more than the national average for alan Dershowitz. Yeah, and by the way, it isn't that he's not allowed to. He just, people don't want him to. Like, he complained in that interview about not being invited to parties. That's not cancel culture. That's people not liking you. And by yeah, the way, really. That's not new. People haven't liked other people for as long as there have been people. I don't get invited to parties on Martha's Vineyard. Oh, no, I've been canceled. That's just being unpopular. You suck, you've sucked for a long time, and eventually people have learned of that. And by the way, sure, the, the weird association with Trump, is some people going to be turned off by that? Sure. 
But the Talina, I think, is probably hurting your reputation even more, buddy. You should look into that. I know why. I understand why you wouldn't want to bring that Wait, up. Wait, what the hell? Head. It was 50 through that intersection. Europe. Don't be Westminster right now. News broadcast is always a fun Wait, it's back book. to 50. I'm not getting invited onto there. It's this entitlement, this belief that once they become a national figure, once people know what their name is, obviously they deserve for the rest of their life to be paid to write books and paid to give speeches to be paid to just exist. I don't know, maybe at some point you just become a regular person again. And you have to actually, based on merit or personality, get invited to these things. Is that so much to ask? John, John, we're supposed to live in a meritocracy in the United States of America? No, we got rid of that meritocracy a Talina. long time ago. They're gonna amend the Constitution, yep. the right to be liked. The, right the to American be liked. dream, uh, because you have to be people, asleep to believe it. To take away the rights of, of gay people. They're trying to You're leaving the you Baltadares? Those are the kings of cancel culture. They really want to prevent people from living life how they want. Alan Dershowitz can do whatever he wants. That's in his right. But do we have to like it? No. No. We have the right to respond however we want to whatever oh, I'm back Alan at 80. Dershowitz does. And the brave, brave people of Martha's Vineyard have said no thank you to Alan Dershowitz to several speaking engagements. Uh, yeah, complaining about it on Newsmax is just comedic. All of these guys are always screaming into the loudest microphone. Did he get behind me or did he go the other way? About how they've been canceled. Uh, because it's more convenient to make it about this is some nice park area and disliking the left than it is to actually look inward and say, hmm, have I become the kind of person that many people do not enjoy being around or hearing speak? That's much harder to do than just say, oh no, it's wokeness and cancel culture. <laughs> These are antisocial people. Hundred percent. Yeah. Someone in the chat was like, "Martha's Vineyard would rather have a great white shark than Dershowitz." <laughs> I don't think I buy that. Uh, so, I, I, by the way, final point for me: I don't believe that the book thing happened. That's ludicrous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't think he's nearly as popular and well known as he thinks. But um, is there any book that were you to be wow. walking down the beach and you see someone reading this stretch of road would make you put you to sleep? The it's the so face? straight and flat. Um, What's really funny is one of my friends uh, has been reading, like, learning about World War II and wanted to read Mein Kampf and Wait, was doing so on the What's that on the left? Was, like, is that? About it and, like, putting the title away because is that like a knows that this Viking path? Leftist who really hates what is that road to the left? I don't know that. So I try not to judge what other people are reading because they could be doing opposition research. So, no. Yeah, no, that's a great point. What about um, you? People, I, yeah, I generally don't punch people because punching people in public involves interacting with them. And when I go outside, I'm just trying to get to wherever I'm going. I'm not trying to talk to people. Um, people are saying part of the deal. Well, hold on. <laughs> Trump didn't have anything to do with writing part of the deal. So <laughs> let's be let's be nice about this. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's some books I consider pretentious. I so I don't think I'm gonna punch anybody. But I'm not gonna read Mein Kampf on a subway though. Even even trying to be stealthy, that seems risky. I've tried to do that before. I spent quite a few days in a physics class in college uh, with my textbook with Harry Potter inside of it, just reading that. Um, oddly enough, I failed that class. But yeah, I'm not going to risk yeah, that. Yeah, totally weird. The mind comp, you have a bolder friend uh, than I can imagine. Yeah, I think the, the QAnon texts are dangerous. Dangerous. Uh, mm -hmm. If I saw someone, I wouldn't punch them for it, but I'd be like, mm, probably shouldn't be reading that. What made you get that book? Yeah. Um, usually it's a friend of a friend said it was really good. It's crazy it how this QAnon stuff is just spreading among communities. Uh, but yeah, not maybe Alan Dershowitz. Camp of the Saints, maybe? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be near that person, but that would make me angry at least. Yeah, I think a lot about like Milton Friedman. You know, people are reading neoclassical econ. And if they're reading it to enjoy it, and they're not reading it like, oh, I have to learn this stuff for school. If they're like, I just love Milton Friedman, love neoclassical econ, Reagan, and Thatcher. <laughs> I beef with those guys on the internet a lot. So I really, I don't yeah. appreciate that community. No, has, has Rahm Emanuel written anything? Let's have him write a book. I want to punch somebody. There you anyway. go. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, Dershowitz is going to be just fine. By the way, um, I'm yeah. a part of this conspiracy. I haven't once invited him to a movie night. Apologies. Yeah. Anyway. Our bad. Um, okay, I thought, why don't we, I mean, you know, you're not brand new to TYT, but you're still kind of new. People are kind of getting to know you a bit. I thought, why don't we get to know Jessica Burbank a bit more? Are you ready for some questions? 
Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so first of all, um, I asked you this before, but we didn't get into your answer. What would be in Dungeons and Dragons your alignment? Yes. Huh. So I have done the official test. The test I I got neutral good, uh, which I, I really like. You know, I think sometimes law and justice are not the same, which Those is a very neutral them. good thing to say. But sometimes I feel I delve into chaotic good. I mean, law sometimes and justice are not the same thing. I just thing. want to see stuff happen for the sake of stuff happening. <laughs> and so, okay. I like that. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Um, I, I, we might be getting, I don't know how much knowledge you have this area. What would your class be? Not That's economic cool. class, by the way, GD <laughs> class. <laughs> I don't know. Rich. What are the differences? Oh, okay. Oh, no, then that's going to be that's gonna be too much. Yeah, now. we've let's, reached my limit, John. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, are you aware of your Myers-Briggs? Yeah, I um, am. I haven't you know what thought it is? about this in a long time. Yeah, I'm I haven't thought about it. I don't remember what Myers-Briggs um, is. Which is like 2% of what? No way. It's, I know. It's a, is it the architect? Vaga Pernu. It that is pretty rare, so though. Sense. It's one of the more rare ones. Yeah, it's the yeah. rarest for women, for sure. I think it's a Part little two. more common for men. Vaga yeah, Part two. I have read that. Yeah. 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 Um, when I went to Knoxville recently to move my friend, he's a psychology professor. His like whole deal is the I is uh, Myers Briggs, and we had he's so right. many conversations about all on. these different types and everything, like trying to figure out what uh, like fictional characters would be and everything. I so love having another on, INTJ up right. in here. Yes, nice. that feels okay. good. That, feels so that good. is not straight on, then you turn know, right. That is just on, right. Uh, the damage report. We're gonna do a little video about some of these Myers Briggs. Maybe we can do a little breakdown of what some like politicians are. Ooh, anyway, what would happen? have happened if I had not? Uh, okay, this is for my own. Personal, oh, I could have turned off uh, the backside. Uh, I wonder what I that is. The test is this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a thing. You tell me which emoji. Probably a warehouse or something. in you. Okay. Um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't watch. I don't. It's this the monkey like this because I I don't watch those. Okay. Uh, I I might start. I would have to start from the beginning, because That's I just don't watch movies. It's nothing against Marvel. I'm like the person who knows nothing about movies. And my friends tease me where we'll be in the car. This this is a real story, and we pass by a McDonald's, and my friend goes. Yeah, like in France, they don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese. And I'm like, oh, really? I have no, I don't know what they're quoting. They all think it's hilarious. And I'm like, yeah. oh, it's like a funny question, I guess. And they're like, uh, I'm like, I don't know. Why not? Uh, and they're like, because uh, the metric system, it's a Royale with cheese. And I was like, that's really interesting. And they're dying laughing. <laughs> I have no idea that they're just quoting famous movies around me. 100%. Okay. I've um, been there. Question, then. Have you seen a movie? I have. I've seen a movie. Did you uh, enjoy the experience of seeing a movie? Yeah. Yeah. I actually... Would you do it again? I would do it again. I, I would do it again. Here's my take on movies, oh, right? Oh, there's a truck like pulled over on the side of the road up there. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And I That's get a stop. Bored and, restless, and I'm like, I want to do things, too. Uh, I just have a hard time sitting still. And so watching movies, breaking them up over a period of time is good for me. Because sometimes mm -hmm. I'll just like trail off and end up on my phone. Sure. Yeah. By the way, I just saw that. Uh, Frank oh. Is in the chat. Oh, big, no big deal, everybody. Uh, Franny Fio, the Bituation Room. It's available. Twitch. It's got the website, Patreon, all that. Um. So. Flames emoji. Flames emoji. Well, so, exactly, on the side of my Keep face. Talon. Really, um, and then turn right. That, that's the hula ardor. Right. You probably don't get that actually. Anyway, uh, are there any movies that are important to you? Yes. Um, okay, so big fan of Studio Ghibli. Ponyo, great film. Uh, the movie Holes, wonderful movie. It all comes together. I really like that. Peaches and Onions, great film. Also, I'm a big fan of A Time to Kill. It's with uh, Matthew McConaughey, Samuel L. Jackson. It's about this very complicated court case. Uh, it's, it's taking place in like the Reconstruction Era South. And yeah. These, these oh, people okay. do something terrible to this man's daughter who is black and it's a bunch of older white guys and the, the father ends up killing them and gets off on an insanity plea because, you know, he wasn't thinking straight. His daughter was killed and it's like a great, you know, just story. Okay. I, I just know. gave away the ending for anyone who hasn't seen it, sorry. Yeah, you, you totally wrote your spoilers on. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, I like the, the, the of the few movies you've seen, they reflect something about you. Um, that makes sense. By the way, uh, 
the MCU is a really big thing. Like diving and getting just seems like so much. Um, I, I look, I am a big fan of it, but like, if, if people don't watch it, I think that's fine. The, the people that bother me are the ones who, like, immediately when a movie comes out, have to go into the comments and complain about the fact that like one of the shows is about a Muslim family or something. Like, there's nothing that infuriates me more than people who can't accept that Captain Marvel's a lady. Like, that's the people who bother, who infuriate me. Not being interested, I think it's the most reasonable thing in the world. I but mean, anyway, right. Um, okay, so here is what I'm going to ask you a few questions off of this with the time we have. Unless if you have something you want to talk about, feel free to jump in. Um, I have seen these videos pop up from time to time. Uh, I have always loved the idea of, I don't have the house to merit it, but of, uh, I think it's like Vogue and Vanity Fair do this. They like walk with a celebrity through their house and they ask them all these like quick, quick questions. Nobody's ever going to do that with me. But I am going to ask you some questions. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to try to... I don't know what... Some of these are unacceptable and I'm not going to ask them. I guess this isn't really oh, news geez, at this point, is. but I mean, uh, I don't know okay. this person, so... What's one thing people don't know about you? Um, I can do this. Ready? Did you hear it? Doesn't that it sound like a water droplet? So indistinguishable from a water droplet. Now you all know. I would be in the library uh, just like doing that when it's I didn't long. realize that was her earlier. So oh, there, awesome. I learned you know something. can't do that is uh, Dershowitz. He's not allowed to. That's why I get invited to speak at Martha's Vineyard. They just put me in front of a microphone in the library and I just do that for a while. Okay, that's impressive. Um, okay, what's the biggest surprise you've had? Jeez. Jeez. Biggest surprise? Really surprised. Uh, have I ever been really surprised? I think when Bernie, this is such a me response, but when Bernie won the Des Moines Register poll, I had just been in like a car accident and my car was totaled and my ribs were broken, like Bernie was coming to the turf. And uh, it was like a bad moment, but he won the Des Moines Register poll, which is like the poll that always predicts the Iowa caucus. Yeah. And that's the last time I experienced like pure joy. Um, no, <laughs> Years ago. <laughs> no, I've experienced joy since then. But yeah, that was a big surprise. Oh that my god. I I get By that. Way, I am I am learning something about you. Uh, that when I asked you what the biggest surprise you've had is, rather than mention that you broke your ribs while working for Bernie, you mentioned the water drop. Thing. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, okay, dream country to visit. Oof. That's such a good question. Um, I could not have possibly read I, that I sign I just Italy. saw. So I love South Africa, and I would go back Keep there. Left. I lived there and for six months, study right. abroad, but a lot of my family's cool. from Italy. have no idea what it's about, what the food's like, what the people are doing there. But that's where my folks came over from. Oh, that's awesome. The, awesome that you spend time in South Africa as well. But yeah, I, I would love to come back on food of Italy. Um, okay, let's see. This is probably a non-answer based on what you said about movies, but number 21, what's your current TV obsession? Ooh, yeah, not watching TV right now. You want to know what I'm tuning into? What's that? <laughs> People are realizing how dry I am uh, behind the scenes. But uh, so I was Stephen Kinzer, who's this amazing storyteller, one of Pulitzer Prize. He, uh, you know, writes books about American intervention and imperialism. I was his TA in graduate school. and Oh, that's uh, cool. I have all of his lectures from American Intervention, the survey class, of like all of them from Hawaii to present day, and I'm listening through them all again, which is okay. really fun. So That's you know how to party. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, that sounds interesting. Um, you know what? Has there so not sweet. been like a high profile show or movie that really like, well, you wouldn't know, um, that delves into what we did to Hawaii? I feel like modern tv and movies have been pretty good about like, like uh pretty much just extra history i think things from american history i feel like that's something that there really should be more like popular culture it's the only on. reason i know but anyway yeah, agreed uh really fast window or aisle seat uh window oh you're weird at the round. okay uh favorite app tiktok <laughs> it probably should be uh by the way everyone follow follow her on tiktok uh she's very good on it um does a lot of great work uh, secret talent. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. That's right. I, I like the answer voice. to everything. <laughs> Favorite app. <laughs> Blues guitar. I'm learning. I'm learning. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Uh, most adventurous thing you've done in your life. Uh, Helen discovered. on the side of a mountain in a hammock only. It's probably completely and wrong pronunciation. It's probably like uh, it was really Talene or Actually, something. Oh God, okay. But I lived. lived to tell the tale. 
Okay, I'm gonna change this question. Go straight to okay. You die. You can see your funeral. What are three words you would want to see people use in their eulogies of you? Uh, I guess two of them would be my pronouns. You'd want to be remembered for. This is a good remembered one. Remembered for. Kind of I want to be a. Like, I want to be a good like person. I want to be remembered as a good the person. Ones that I like the most are when people. I'd like to be remembered as a good storyteller. This is genuine. Uh, that I care about other people. Uh, and maybe like a like nilly tea, working, right? Like I'm not out here grifting. Like I really mean the stuff um, that I say, and I, I I'm not gonna sell out. And I've said no to selling out a bunch. I like that. No, and that's you know the not getting any specific. I, I mean, <laughs> and hopefully, in the now. it's one of like the biggest differentiators between. Oh, them, is everybody? Uh, Everybody Prince's Harry Loves. So having people who are Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Of their value system, I'm just finishing uh, my news. To try to do what, with whatever, you know, I hope you're doing well. It's a weird time late at night for me. Oh. Thank you very much for the follow. Like that have um, for if you think that, if you think you'll be back, uh, consider uh, doing exclamation point yeah, vote in the chat. You'll get access to uh, a poll I'm running right now for what games people want to see me play on stream. Your Truck Simulator 2 is currently winning, so I'm currently playing it. But, you know, you already followed, so if you... You'll get notified when I go live because you followed, but also if you vote in the poll, it'll be potentially for a game you vote for me to play in the poll. Everyone here cares so much. Oh, uh, exclamation point vote. Very nice of you. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, it is a big games. list, you know, and you get to pick your top Super ten you of the games you'd like to see me uh, mm -hmm. com uh, finish or complete or series. I, like I discovered a recruitment like agency. That. Nice. Okay, uh, there you go. You got the link. Some of these are highly inappropriate. Dolphins or koalas? I'm down on two-lane road now. I used to want to be a marine biologist, but I'm afraid of open water. And, and it is a bunch of so. uh, games I that I need to finish, games I have finished but haven't completed, or series that I have played but uh, I, I haven't completed. Like, I haven't gotten to the next game in the series. Like, the next Ratchet and Clank, the next Sly Cooper, the next Metal Gear, the next uh, Mega Man X, the next Shining Force. I've only played the first Shining Force. Your go-to for having a good laugh. That's a great question. Um, Otherwise, um, how are you doing at this time of night? Are you up late, or are you from somewhere that is not America? Because, like, half the people who come to this channel are, um... Well, they're not American. They're from somewhere else in the world. That's always neat to find out where they are from. Oh, I like that. See, I would have just done it for the experience. You want to do something. I like that. Damn, okay. I would have wasted it. Anyway, Joe um... Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it would be uh, Joe Mansion. I would take my yacht out a few miles, then bust a hole in the floor. Oh, no, no violence. Anything. Anyway, um, okay, that's all the time. I think that we... And then have... a red light. All that, all that left and writing 90-degree angles to get a red light. I never know how long we're supposed to go. I have some I... questions for John. Let's do... We have... Are we... Am we getting two more minutes? Is that what it is? Sure. What do we got? Okay. This is a very important question that I ask many people. Uh, and I, it tells a lot about a person, but uh, vanilla bean... Oh, is that light over there? Vanilla? Oh, that's the same light. I don't oh, so this light to my right is for French people behind me. Is supposed to be. I... I can't answer that. Vanilla bean sounds natural, and I feel like it's more respectful of the ingredient. It's about the ingredient. French vanilla is making it about a place, and I'm in it for the vanilla. Flavors, but I don't know how. I guess, have you ever, like, tasted back-to-back? -back? Does anyone know what the difference between those flavors is? I feel like it's all branding. I think they're all the same thing. I, I think feel it's like three I could do it. That go into different ones, but it's coming out of the same fat. Let's see. Okay, the next time we hang out, John, we're doing blind taste test of <laughs> vanillas, uh, like French vanilla, uh, vanillas. Yeah, I also have an ice okay. cream maker, so we can really, we can really go nuts. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that'll be super fun. Oh my God, Curses! I'm for that answer, by the way. I'm hitting all the red lights. <laughs> really? Damn. I also, I think vanilla is like a nice flavor. I, I don't like that it's equated so. with plain so frequently. I think vanilla is a good smell and flavor, and it doesn't deserve to be equated with plain. 
Oh, is that a trolley? Okay, what is your, do you know your zodiac sign? Neat. Your I'm horse. an Aquarius. You're an Aquarius. That's Pretty so sure I'm a Virgo. Have you talked about this on the show before? I don't know if I've ever identified myself as, I mean, look, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm, I don't, I don't attribute any cosmic significance to it. I find the, the anal, analyzing it interesting. Um, but I'm into that sort of thing. I mean, I brought up the Myers-Briggs, um, but no, I don't think we've ever talked about it. I love that you're comparing Myers-Briggs with, with astrological signs. The science I know. It maybe right. goes on for longer for astrological said, signs. Yeah. They have more years of data than Myers-Briggs, perhaps. Okay, I know you don't listen to music. You don't like music too much. I but when do. You, when you do, what is what do you listen to? Okay, so I listen to music in a few situations. Right. Like if I'm in the car and, and I need to get like pumped up on the way to work or something, or generally when I'm working Where out. Where am I right now? That is. This, morning, that, this is I the fastest way to my destination. I'm still on my phone, and I tried to find some good playlists. And um, I'm way past the point where all of those modern songs I find annoying. What? Um, no, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm, I'm going to a port. So, but my go-tos would be... I was like, what? How is this the fastest like a, way? A, a suspiciously high percentage of the songs that are on the Guitar Hero I'm a little close to that pole on the right so side, though. That's probably who I am. And then also, I'm going to keep it real. I listen to Glee covers. <laughs> That's what I listen to. Wow. I, I, John is dropping bombs in this phone. Really like you discovered a new viewpoint. Morning, actually. And you like Liam Michelle? This is, is it over nice. here? I, I, I don't like her. She's bad. Um, but her voice is incredible. And, uh, I'd like to see her. Oh, the viewpoint's over there now. near the... Uh, yeah, makes me a bad person, but I think I have to actually activate the viewpoints to get voice. them counted. So I've yeah, actually passed one or two viewpoints. So that's inconvenient to that. You're right. So dismissive. Can I also say that um, I have only been to a few musical performances in my life, although I generally choose well. As a young man, I went to Busta Rhymes, I've been to Earth, Wind & Fire, and Beyonce. I deserve that. And I was in the crowd as an unseen extra oh. in an episode of the taping of Glee, and I got to listen to all of them, but especially Leah Michelle uh, sing, and it was incredible. That was one of the highlights. That's a good mix. Are you a singing man, John? Do I sing? Do you be singing, John? I do karaoke. Like, if I get oh. drunk, I can huh. get really That's into karaoke. That's not easy to I get to. I have a good voice, though. <laughs> what is the karaoke song? But we're making it a um, thing. Probably not the things you'd expect. I don't know. Maybe Brooke can remind me. We've done karaoke together. I, I, I like the idea of doing stuff like Journey or Billy Joel or Bruce Springsteen, something like that. But but I'll do whatever. I don't care. I've learned I not to sing in public because mm -hmm. you're thinking I've been made fun of 100% of the time. Is it Grateful Dead for you? No. I don't no, know if I am I, tone deaf. I Proud Mary by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Which would be what I, like I would think. Song. That people are like making fun of me. Like several of their songs, actually. Because, but I they just they want me to stop. It. So every time. Which is a lot of fun as well. Um... Know that off the you know of Flight of the Concords? They're like a New Zealand make a good band. Yes. I no, I know. The, okay, the okay. dude uh, from... Name of Brett. Yeah, the dude from Moana, I think, was in that. Um, I don't know. I forget. I'm Do I, I anyway, automatically um, rest on the trip? I think yes, I might. He was the crap. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's, and I also like soundtracks like Moana and Lilo and Stitch. Anyway, uh, okay, those are, those are good questions. I like yeah. it. We've learned 2% of what we need to know about each other. And so next time we do this, let's, let's get some more questions. And we'll keep track of the percentage as we go. Hold on. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway, um, Happy Half Hour is up. Either, oh. I, I'm inclined to say next. So... Probably streaming right now because we went over. But anyway, they never told me what the bracket was, but I'm sure it's... Oh, no brackets. Just is this live. the right so way it's in? It's going to be a lot of fun. Was I going the right way? Uh, by the way, great job. Jessica, you did an amazing job leading. Uh, it was a lot of fun. This was so much fun. Two hours of John and Jessica. Exactly. And then whatever name you want to combine that into. And with that, everyone, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> okay. I think I can just go through any way I want, so I'm going to. Nine.
Forget. I just drive onto the back of the ferry, right? Really thought I was going to hit that cement. Really thought I was going to. Okay. That's all my news for now, so I'm going to take that black bar off the screen. As I do this. And hope that I rest. I guess I'm going here. Finding a new route. Um. Turn that off. Okay. I don't think I got rested. I also forgot to put the truck into, like, neutral, and I forget if there's a handbrake. Are we just really overcast, or is it raining, I was about to say? Taking the long way out. Man, even a couple of hours in and I'm still out of practice. I guess I was supposed to loop even wider. Then again, there aren't, th there aren't that many fairies in American Truck Simulator. I'm pretty sure there's I'm pretty sure there's a at least a ferry in American Truck Simulator. Wait, there's another viewpoint over here on the other side? Get ready to turn right. Wait, am I not in this viewpoint? Can I hit it backwards? That's really the question. So it turns purple on the map. West Harbor of Helsinki. Oh, if I hit... Pause. No, that... That did twitch. Oh no. <laughs> okay. How far away am I traveling still? I could probably get there before I fell asleep at the wheel, but I'm not really sure. I'm a bad judge of distance at this point. Uh, 249 kilometers? Yeah, I should be okay. If not, we'll make the, the ending of this recording fun. Are you letting me out? Is that a... No, you're not. You're just being a jerk about it. Almost bumped. Alright. Pretty sure that's not straight. Pretty sure that's left. Well, uh, so Helsinki, that's... I'm in Finland? I think I'm in Finland. It's 
It's a beautiful day. Love the rain. Praise Grandfather Thunder. It's all good. Turn left here. That didn't look super safe, but oh well. Keep left and then turn left. Left and then more left. Okay, weird. I went across the uh, ferry and now all the lights are turning green in front of me. I want to rack that up to water. I mean to rain, but... But really, I have no excuse. I've only been at this for five and a half hours. I've been on this run for most of that time. The majority of that time. Pretty sure I damaged way early in the run, so it's not like that ruined my run as far as, like, getting the bonus for damage. I prefer not to wreck into things, though, so I still feel kind of dumb about that. Okay, now to let me turku and darn it, miss those. If I go right, I smack an invisible wall. Uh, Harry, are you still out there? You want to carry on a conversation? I am here for that. What uh, what brings you to the stream, if so? mathematics I just get to continue my lane now yay Turku Abo Kia and ring ring rings an interesting just plain name for a city Turku and Abba Abba right. actually I have no idea how you say a with the little circle over it. I don't know what the little circle does to a letter. Did she say keep left? I think she did. I'm not going to ispoo. Oh wait, I just remembered, yeah, the um the water in the the rain in Euro Truck Simulator 2 affects the road a lot more than it affects the road in American Truck Simulator, and I always underestimate it when it starts raining. Even though I like the rain, I bet that is what happened. Like, I bet my tires skidded and I didn't quite tell while I was trying to, like, slow up to make that one turn earlier. But I remember almost tipping over an entire truck full of, I think, chicken? I can't remember what I was transporting. 
I think it was ch I think it was no wait maybe it was cows. I think it was an animal. And the, the trucks got so tipped that it looked like it was gonna go over on its side, which I don't think I had had. Wait, have I had that happen? I've actually, as much as I've fender bendered all kinds of things in the universe, I have not hardcore wrecked uh, a vehicle, but like two or three times, I think, in this game. In real life, more more times than that. <laughs> but, well, hardcore wreck, uh, totaled? Well, let's see, I got totaled once. That was not a fun experience. I still have... I still have some neck and knee issues from that. Pori. Turku and Pori. This is some really excellent fog. I don't remember the fog being this good. I am legit having... Oh, wait. Are my lights on? They are. I think I just don't turn them off at this point. This is really nice fog. It is legit difficult to see. Wow, I, I, I didn't see that truck ahead of me until it got lit up by the lightning. That is nice. Nice. Oh, it's, uh... It's when the sun might actually go down because I think I'm far enough north that I think with the time of year that the days are longer or something because it is 10 o'clock and it is still like it's gray excuse me you're going kind of slow and it's making me feel unsafe And then a tunnel. Oh god, my windshield wipers aren't on. Uh, wrong button. I don't remember how to turn on turn windshield wipers. Toggle side mirrors. Yeah, I, I can't see right now. Whoops. I hope I don't get fined for not having my turn signals on, uh, my windshield wipers on. I don't know what button that is. Slowing me up something fierce. I probably I probably will. But I don't feel like looking it up right now and I've already gotten so many fines in this one long ass trip. Keep right and then exit right. Hori, Torku, Alenta. That, uh... That storm's pretty close. Um... 
Okay. You know what? Actually, it does bother me a little bit. One second. Uh, options? No, wait. Not gameplay. Keys. Windshield wipers. Wipers. Numpad delete. Uh, numpad clear. What's numpad delete? Is this numpad delete? That's shift head. Is this numpad delete? Oh. Cool, I found it just in enough time for the rain to end. That's fine. For the record, uh, I don't, I'm not using a Windows keyboard, so that is not delete. That is decimal point, I guess? It would be period, but I mean, it's over there with the numbers, so I guess it's decimal point. Turku Abo leaving Turku Abo? How does that work? Why why are those X'd out? I thought they were only crossed out if you were leaving them. That is a wicked skyline at midnight. No, not midnight. I, I did my math wrong earlier, didn't I? I'm sorry. 22 is 10. I'm going to get... Yeah, I think I'm going to get tired just before I drop off my cargo. Do 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 do. Hori, non talin, non tal. No, something. Hold on, wait. What did it say? Non. Yeah, non tali. That, uh, that red light came really fast. I'm glad I was far enough in the intersection I didn't get counted as, like, running it. More highway? With so little left? Keep right, and then turn right. Weird, but all right. I haven't quite refigured out my turning radius. What's going on over there? Car broken down at the far end of the lane. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I think my lane ends up ahead. Otherwise, I don't know why it's telling me to get over. Curses. Turn 
Turku discovered. Baltic Tourist 8 of 35. Achievement progress. That's what we're here for. People voted for me to complete Euro Truck Simulator 2. And uh, that's, that's going to be years worth of a project, I think. So now that I've said that, I do kind of want to look up a Euro Truck Simulator 2 speed run. If such a thing exists. You discovered a recruitment agency. Neat. Wish I would have gotten more experience out of this, but unfortunately I kind of bashed up the truck a little bit. A lot of bit. I have to get over there and then turn again. Are you... Are you sitting in the intersection? Well, it's very courteous of you to let me through. Oh, you're not gonna let me through, are you? Can I get through this light? I cannot. I feel my driver's sleepiness. It is uh, 3.45 a.m. where I am right now. Oh, I just realized I didn't make a interface with a clock thing. I should really, since the game is running now, which it wasn't the last two times I opened it, I've tried to come back to this game a couple of times. Just randomly felt like playing it. And uh, until tonight, it has not been running smoothly. So unless I look at the video and find out that it's actually a lot more choppy than I thought. I mean, you know, as I say that, I look over and it says I have very bad frame rate right now. But as I look at it on Twitch, I don't see it. I don't know. You know what? I'll have to go to the videotape as it, is, as it were. I'll have to figure out what the game sees. I'll have to figure out what, what you guys are going to get later. Hey, getting next to the Turku letters. Am I there yet? Not there. That door doesn't open. It was a nice ride. It was a nice ride. All right, where do you need it? Uh, you know what? Let's finish this run off with a difficult park. Hmm. <laughs> I I honestly registered that as being much further away. Well, you know, that's a great start to this. Let's do it. I'm only bashing up the truck. I'm not bashing up the cargo, at least. At least I don't think I am. Oops. Yeah, cargo's fine.
I don't see exactly... Is it back past the thing? Okay. Not terrible. Not perfect. Okay, not the greatest, but I mean, I got it. I can, I can feel things are wrong in my head trying to do this, so. But you know, oh shit. Haven't been playing for a year, so. Turn this just right. There we go. It'll count. I can detach it, and then I can just pull away. Synchronizing worlds of truck progress. <laughs> Not quite a level. Continue. Uh, let's check out the map. see here garage manager map view seems to indicate that there is one in Turku well let's look back at the map wait hold on can I not purchase a thing yet Wait, I have a garage over there, but nobody's in it? Oh, because that was where I was going this whole time, was to get to Scandinavia. Garage purchase. Turku. 180,000. I can purchase small or large. I don't think I have the money for large. Oh, I do barely have the money for large. Well, then let's just get that out of the way. There we go. Nobody's in it, but that's fine. Alright. Uh, for anybody who is watching later on YouTube, I would like to thank you for watching. This has been Euro Truck Simulator 2, presented by Improvision Entertainment. I have been Hunter Munn, and uh, I will see you in the future. In a different recording session. Later. I, I swear I ended the recording. I press button. Goodbye? Why is this not working? Why suddenly not working? Hilarious. Stop recording button manually. Click.